It's still week two. It's, it's game three. This isn't going well. And I decided, you know what, back it. If, if, if the score didn't go to hell, then this just intentionally played by a game just to... Will this be our countdown vampires? I don't know for sure. I'm going to say no. But we'll get into what this game is in a bit. First of all, I... Yeah, that's a thing. I've been through these options before, because you know, we need to check these things on PC, and some of these... Can I do this? I'm going to say probably, but you know what, this is going to be a shit show anyway, so... I'm going to test cloth, cloth, and fog. Bag it. Good. Yeah, it's okay. Thank you. Right. So we are playing Daylight. Uh, I'm using a controller as a first person game. Ordinarily, I would be using the mouse as a first person game on the computer. However, I find these controls abhorrent. Actually, it's not that bad. It's this kind of thing like, look. Okay. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight inputs. Tell me why. For a map, do I have to stretch all the way over the feckin' M? You have so many keys you can put that on. The downside though, I am using a controller, and as you can see, they didn't bother their feckin' arses to put on a controller diagram. The controller works, I am using it right now. But can I see the controls? No I may not. If I want to see the controls, I must play the console version. This is smart. Alright, new story. So, what is this game, and why is it... I'll say there's some mild interest in its origins. Very mild. So, Daylight was, uh, at the time this was announced and detailed before the launch of the PlayStation 4, Xbox One. And it's picked up because, oh, not only is, is this, oh, it's a new horror game, but it's a new horror game, and it's also one of the first games to be released that is running on Unreal 4. Eh. This is, this is so lone. So, you know, it's like that had, had that going for it. You know, just the novelty. Not only the novelty of next gen, but the novelty of new engine, of one of the uh, new running on the latest iteration of an engine. And seriously, you could you couldn't you couldn't just put it smart, smart, real smart. Be my pause, go use, throw, blah. I should have read those things. Oh my god, chromatic aberration out the <gasps> asshole. Look at the screws. Ah, good, you've arrived. Oh Sarah, my focus. god. They haven't much time at all. They've been busy. They certainly have. Use that machine in your hand to find your way. There's much to see, much to learn. Much to see? I can't see oh, shit. Because you said the chromatic aberration everything out the Please goddamn asshole. This place is Look. for your arrival. Gather up everything you can. The memories contained within these walls are waiting to be found. Sarah, listen to me. You must succeed. Oh my... Oh no, indeed. Oh my god, what are you doing? Why is Rose wrong of her eyes? Why is she seeing things like... This is so... But why did she crank it up so high? Ah, uh, Sarah, no matter where you go, there you are. What, what the feck? What? Oh my god. God, this is hideous. Okay, I was going to back into the whole thing to talk about this game. I did not know about this. This is I'm going to be stuck here for some time wondering about this. Oh, everything is so blurry. Why, 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 why? When people get back in new back in rendering bullshit or new fucking effects they can do. Why? Her hand! Her hand has got a fucking red and blue outline. Why is it so strong? It's just so, you basically, you basically made, basically give everything outlines as if you say, no, we don't want black outlines, we want fucking red and blue. We want to make everything blurry as sin. You know, hey, maybe, it's something, maybe there's something wrong with the developer's eyes and say, look, this thing, yeah, this is how I see things. Right, uh, yes, it's picking up. Put us in that 52, it seems to be experiencing visions of shadow people. Doctors on site to keep trying conventional therapies, stating that he's just racist. But I believe we need to start thinking about new procedures that push what we've come up to with to date. As I was going to say, what is with people getting new effects and just say, no, all the effects, turn off the mask, crank that fecker all the way. 100%? Fuck that. Go over with. Oh, 
God damn it, Vex six. Oh my god, this is heady. Like, lens flare. What do we do with lens flare? Ah, uh, lens flare out there, so everyone's been blinded by lens flare. Motion blur, blow that out there, so as well. Now, fucking chromatic apparition. Apparition. App what the fuck am I talking about? App chromatic app. Ugh. Now, the end penitentiary is recently some generic bollocks. I got confused there because if you play the Evil Within 2, Chronic Appar Appar Apparition was strong in that as well. Not as, but it was localized in specific areas. In a way that, you know, makes sense because, ah, Evil Within takes place in this. I'm not going to explain the entire contents of Evil Within, but let's just say, Chronic Apparition can make sense in places. It was so strong at one point, I looked at a gate and it just created a solid wall of Chromatic Apparition, to which I dubbed Chromatic Apparition. Which, if we see here with the strength of our hands, if we see any kind of tight space at all, we are going to get a Chromatic Apparition. I love the term Chromatic Apparition, this is the set on a woman, this is the stuck woman, and this never find the context for it, but we may have it here. Find the answers. It will tell you where to look. He's the glue stick with one. He's the glue stick. Alright, these are an infinite source of glue sticks, even though there are actually only four. And... Bars. Alright. <clears throat> so, before we got sight... Oh, so ugly! Before we got sidetracked by the feckin... Ugh. One of the other aspects of this game... It's a big one, but we're going to go for the small ones first. Picked up the writing and said, ah, the writing is going to be a great story and all. And said, yeah, it's not a very good sign when your horror keeps it. Ah, oh, it's narrative, great now. Your first thing is to go, ah, why don't we put it in a feckin' disused feckin' mental hospital? Yeah, that's feckin' real original and clever. Still doing this shit, are we? I don't know what story is so far. I don't know if she's trying to recall memories, some nonsense. Also, also of course, everything's messed around. Wheelchairs abound. Ugh. Notes, of course. Notes, big notes. That's it. Why do I need to see this? Why, why, why do I need to see this? Why is this a thing? We are but one thread woven from the web of life. All things connect. All things are bound. Why does it have a maze on it? Certain patient is, is, is this an official release? Uh, so, you may be looking at these things, although I get the feeling this area wouldn't actually be impacted by it, but I'll bring it up anyway. One of the other big things of this game. One of the selling points. Two words, two words, two beautiful words, two words in a horror game that you would absolutely go mad for. In a horror game, you know that genre, that a uh, very particular genre, shall I say, with very particular needs, where, you know, you want to... a genre that requires a delicate touch, some strong design, direction, you know, to make things work. Current design, just set the set pieces, if you so desire to call them. You know, that kind of thing. I'm fucking lost. Wait, did they actually want me to whip one out to actually open that door? Uh, one of these buttons has to- ooh, I have a run button. It's L- that's LT. Uh, I- I'm trying to glow stick. Okay, it's down. Yay. Me glow. Well, this- is this mag- It's magic! And- wow, look at that snap. It's almost like something just popped into existence. So... What the- that's- that's not how glow stick. No, glow stick, no, no! Alright, so, again, you heard this list of things before for why I make horror game good, right. But daylight say, but what if patient aged 10 months has been re-admitted by her foster parents due to unafraid incidents that occur shortly after she left the hospital. Oh my god. Think about it. Oh no, are you were patient here and thing happened. Careful, Sarah. The more you cut, the faster they see. I'm sorry? Anyway, those two sexy words, those two words that you will so feckin' get right of for and oh, horror game, woof, 
Procedural generation. Ooh. Yes, lovely stuff. That's the perfect thing that you want to design the game for. Oh my god. What was that sound? Uh, something woefully generic. I'm going to hazard a guess. Oh my god, this is the game. I know you're there. So you walk through hallways into junctions, and it's going to be in the most plain feck. I'm going to say it right now, I'm not going to get. This is this is not countdown vampires. Not countdown vampires. Count, count, count. English. This isn't countdown vampires I at know all. You're there. Stop saying that. It's the kind of thing, like, I get it. Like, procedural generation in this instance where you're dealing with. Ah! Mind! The mind! It be mad! Oh! Oh! Madness! And frightening effects indeed! It's like the idea of, well, alright. Mind? A bit off on that. Mind! Miss like indeed! So therefore, randomized environments, etc. You know, I get it. Problem is, you can't make your whole fucking game that. No, what I don't know is if I die, does I start over again? Do we like reset the checkpoint and then the whole layout shifts? You know that kind of thing. I don't. I don't know. Oh, you're a red note. Oh, you're a sexy one. No, what could you? Oh. History of New Kiplan. Oh, we got to find out about all the cakes. Once a small fishing village, New Kiplan blossomed into a prosperous town full of eager honest people. The town facing overpopulation. Couldn't give a rat's ass. No, probably. This is the kind of things. Overpopulation. And those population were then funneled into a mental hospital. A generic mental hospital. A horrendous, truth-filled mental... You know, one nice thing I'll say about this game, at the very least, they give you a map. And this map is permanently displayed. I will grab... So what the heck was the map button about then? If the map is permanently displayed, I guess this... I guess this makes it bigger? Oh no! Oh no! The shadow people! Hello, the shadow people! How do you do, shadow people? Do you come after me, shadow people? Do you just stand there? Well, it appears we have reached an impasse. Hey, I've got all day. Just... Just, uh... We're just going to stand here looking at each other, aren't we? Well, alright then. I'm going to walk forward towards you like this. And if you get spooky, it's your own fault. Yeah. Aha! See? You don't have yourself to blame. Hello? Oh, no! <laughs> oh no, the mattresses, they be revolting. No more shall they be rested upon. No there? more shall they have your sweaty backs embedded in their being. No more. Where the fuck am I going? <laughs> oh, what? Where are we going? Ah, the mind he made like, and the confusing thing, and really irritating the navigate, for it be steamy as shit. Oh, oh, see, we saw the scarce now we can progress. I get it, right? Fair enough. Or perhaps all these doors open, and that's going to generate some path. 
What was that? It was generic spooky sound number 52. Alright then, that, that just makes it easier for me. Yo, okay, do, do that for every fucking door that I don't need to go down. That'd be great. See? Fantastic start. So, here's the thing. Uh, I don't know what our getaway mechanic is. Like, are we just going to run away and eventually then they, they stop chasing us? <gasps> yeah, here's the thing. Game, you need to establish threat first. Well, we start, you, you start to establish threat. And what I mean is, you need to... You start, your current established threat is one that interferes with our... Tell them a phone here. Why oh, this is so god I'm uninterested. What do we do? We plop a player down right in the mental hospital. As soon as she gets off the floor, it's going to turn the narrative of course. Oh no, she be mad and this is in her head. And we're going to wake up at the end. And we could be in the cell or it's going to be a favorite ending when we're in the cell. Or something. Emergency players, that, that's a thing. Is that a thing? I mean, it may be a thing in certain places, I don't know why there'll be a thing here. See, the problem we're running into here is hey, aimlessly wander these fucking undesigned corridors in the hopes that you find a note which I guess will progress the narrative somewhat. It's like slender, but also shit. Now here's the thing, slender, we're going by the pages here, not the thing we keep, when we're going by, next thing, we're going by the very first slender thing, as in the game says, hey, in this forest, find the notes out the other side, or not the other side, but whatever happens, I can't remember what happens at the end of the game, whatever. That concept, that idea of finding the notes, whatever, only works on that small scale. Because you have one threat, it's constantly chasing you. Oh no, I need to find these eight notes scattered throughout this place randomly. That's fine. Very small scale, works. You cannot take that and make a full game out of it that is more than 40 minutes long. Or if you are doing that, you need to make it in a very good site. Really hit lockers. You need to do it in a, in a region that is actually designed so it's actually interesting to navigate and general explore. Patient 06B. Stuff better. Home the patient refers to as her beloved has been placed in quarantine. The doctor recommends incineration as it has come in contact with the girl and might carry the disease. None of us has had the heart to burn the stuffed animal. No. I guess Mrs. Goodman isn't the only. Bollocks. <laughs> oh, wait, that's really nice. Oh, let's notice our UA over there. Our threat is. Uh. Quarter moon? And we have three of six remnants. I'm pretty sure that's enough for a full party. Ah. <sighs> You know what? Pack it. You know what? Oh, we're actually getting chased now. First note. Uh, patient 27C, patient 27C suffers from an obsession with mazes. Oh, well, you know what? Compulsive behavior has driven him to draw mazes all over his cell, having run out of practice space. Patient turned on himself, Calvin, a labyrinth maze into his own flesh. Completing, completely enveloping his chest parts of his back. How do you do that? Four arms and upper arms and upper thighs and even parts. Unmentionable. Of his buttocks and genitals. Alright, we're <laughs> that's, 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 that's what I was alluding to. But no, we're just going to be blitting about it. We should rest your advice, straight jacket, and placed in solitary confinement. No more doodling on your wally, sir. I can't 
can't see a thing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's called the dark. It happens when there's an absence of light. Or is the chromatic operation still playing havoc we? Oh, we went downstairs in another identical feckin' stairwell to find the same feckin' thing. It's identical, lads. You don't. Who looked at us? I said, ah, yes. This is what we need. A whole horror game that is this. People love blindly stumbling around generic environments with absolutely nothing of feckin' interest to look at. They love that. And then with the possible thing that they could get spooky by. Ooh, yeah, that's a, that's a hat maker right there. Oh, we put in Twitch integration. Ooh, even better. Ooh. Monetize those kitties. Wait, you don't think you're monetizing kitties with Twitch integration, but still, you, you know what I mean. Like, I don't know what Twitch integration does. Is this a case of, oh, Twitch voted, and now a filing cabinet falls over. Ooh. They were being followed, but I don't know to what effect here. Like, I don't know if, like, if we turn around, this is going to be there. Go like, oh, here, hello. <sighs> See, this is just show. Let's talk about week two as a whole. Oh, great, another stairwell. Oh, there's the same amount of fucking destruction beheld it. What the hell am I saying? English. Let's see. If we go down here, to our right, will we be graced with a weirdly rusted metal gate? And behind that, will there be a double door being barred shut? Ah, yes, that's one. Oh, wait, number two. Oh, there is. Oh, what are the odds of that happening? No, mayhaps we are going around in a circle. No, no, wait, no, there, look, you can see it up there at the top of the map. That's the exact same, the exact same, the exact same. As you can tell, I have no interest really in Tins giving away. Although, actually, I kind of am a wee bit. I am trying to get involved a little bit, but, like, oh my god, I'm bored of this already. So. Week two, where did it all go wrong? Uh, I could say it almost, you could, you could say it, this went wrong by virtue of me trying to make a theme. Oh my god, what was that sound? The one. White day, the game that should have been a safe choice. Should have been. <sighs> I can't take it. The drawer, it moves by itself. That's not supposed to happen. I am supposed to be the draw mover. Me. Here, look, here. I will grab this and pull it outward. But no, the draw, it moved on its own. What need have I to it if it can move by itself? Oh, I have become useless. The draws, they do not need me. Therefore, people do not need me. Therefore, society does not need me. Therefore, I shall uh, go elsewhere. Where the fuck am I going? Oh no! For the third time! Oh no! The green found cabinet, always the green one, but one of the drawers fell, uh, removed has fallen over. Oh, the horror, the terror, the tragedy. So, anyway, White Day should have been like an easy home run. Oh, it's White Day, as the game's well known. That would be great. Oh, don't tell me. I need to find six notes for this to open, don't I? Need the key. Oh, for tits sake. You need to fucking piss off is what you need to do. First the problem runs away today, which made itself immediately evident. I... Hmm. That is a game that desires you to scour the environment, but 
also decides we want to have one of the most oppressive just hunters that I've experienced in one of those types of games. The type of hunter that I would expect from a game that is very poorly designed, one that does not let up, one that is a constant threat. So scouring those environments and examining every nook and cranny just becomes incredibly frustrating. So you know, that didn't fucking work out did it? And it's just the last time when like getting caught in the bathroom where it's just he scared himself somehow and then found me. It's like that's just no for doing that this is bad enough anytime I walk around and he's just there and it's just the take orders for school. Guess what? You can't pass any one of the take orders of school. They're fucking take orders. Ugh. So that went out the window. Then Daymare. Old Daymare. One of the most pearly paced fucking things that I have ever experienced. Control's bad, has a narrative that says we want to stand, we want to be at the forefront, we want to shove our narrative in your face and rub it in. I know you're there. And we're going to do so with one of the most unlikable fucking casts ever. Like, I get you're playing as the villain, so is it alright, they're going to be arseholes, but uh, if you're doing that, you need to write them semi decently. And you did not. I keep thinking this is a note, but it's not, it's just a bottle. God, it's bad. Oh, yeah, someone was making a sound and hitting something, but then having a fade in and fade out. I did that, and I did that video about why I like horror games, in spite of being a massive coward. Actually, no, I just made a series of bangs, and then I didn't actually fade them in and out to make sense. I should have done that. I should have made a sound like someone was walking by. Whatever. The reason why Daymare is a misery to endure, one, this, the pace is bogged down from the beginning with the cutscenes. It's very uninteresting, it's very plum. Then you have the dialogue, which does not help. Then you start playing the game, and it is incredibly linear and plays poorly. Then, you have the puzzles. Here's the thing, Resident Evil has those kind of puzzles that feature in Daymare. It's the puzzles where you have to take your time, you stop, you scan the environment, hunt around a little bit, not find piece A to take to piece B and then stick them together. It's not that kind of puzzle solving. It's a more strict puzzle. The difference is, Resident Evil would use those sparingly. You might only find two or three of those types of things in the whole game. Daymare, however, says no, no, no. These are a thing that happened in Resident Evil, and we were going to make the Resident Evil 2 remake. So we obviously need to incorporate these. And so they put three of them in the first fucking chapter of the game. Three of them. The things that slow down the game. The things that are supposed to... Oh my god. Resident Evil had three of those goddamn puzzles in quick succession. Guess what? That game would not, I would not like that game either. Or maybe I'd be more tolerable. Of, I don't know. It may get a pass based on the fact that one, the mansion is obviously you know well designed and not immensely fucking linear. But whatever. And then you go through all that, solve those puzzles. It's tedious beyond sin. And then you're created with more back in narrative, and then you're created with an earlier section, but with a time mechanic, that being the gas, it's like, I have zero patience for you, like I am zero patience for, oh, I know what I missed. I know you're there. I can see you, you've got a glowy spot. I saw someone down in the bottom room tonight. Bastard made me nearly jump out of my skin. Ran off before I could get a good look at the blow. Nobody but me and Adam should be down there. So it better not be one of the orderlies. Derping how to spot the pot the moon was on one of them nurses. Yeah, see? Just make sure people are knowing the job and not screwing around in my bottom room. You hear? Okay, this is the time where actually we need the map because. Few remnants. 20. Oh my. Wait. 104? Why is there 104? Why is there 104? I do not need to collect all of these two. I don't need to collect. I just need six to get by. I just need six to get by. I just need one more. Um. Um. 
<laughs> um, um, I can't get rid of this. This is stuck in the street. Can I use the keyboard? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! The machine doesn't have a save function! I don't feel that away! I don't need that! I only have three. Yeah. I don't want to use another one. I want to try and make the UA work! Oh no! <laughs> the greatest terror of all! Broken UI. <laughs> well, this is some playable. Let's see if we can get killed and see what happens. But maybe the UI being a permanent fixture is very invisible. Shadow people, where are you? Come get me. Come get a piece of this. Whatever the fuck I'm. Oh my god, like it's, just, it's just the same. They, they repeated the same fucking corner three times. I know you're there. Procedural generation. A beautiful thing. You shouldn't really st structure your whole game around it. Especially not when you're dealing with these kinds of fucking assets and very limited tail set. Would you please cease the ringing sound and kill me? Of course not my- Oh wait, our threat's halfway! Ooh! Half threat! We could have actually stumbled across the road, that'd be great. Oh my god, what was that sound? Spooky things! Ah. <sighs> Week three. Oh, week three. I just remember week three. I want to say right now. I'm going to do my damnest. This will not be repeat. We'll just say that the cursed week eloped from week three to week two. Because the cursed week knows no bounds. It says now. I will appear at some point. Will it be week three? Will it be week two? Could it be week four? Could it be week one? Who? It shall make its home where it may, and it's not give a damn about anyone. Let's just hope it doesn't decide to take up dual residency. Because that would be a problem. Oh, this is a place I haven't been down yet. Oh, a different room. Let's go in here and be spooky by bathrooms, or bathtubs rather. Womp, 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 womp. Oh, great. We have to find this note. We have to go the whole way back. Let me find this note. What the hell is this? Is this a spawn room? I mean, let's take let's take smoke spray again. Maybe this is a safety room. Maybe you go here when you're being chased. You know what? That's probably the case. <sighs>
know there's somebody here. I give up. Heck it. <sighs> I'll see you, B3. I can't go any worse. I mean, this is, I, I, I'm going to say right now, I will go worse the first day. Every day after that, I'm going to hope for the best. Yeah. See you then. Any Egypt can play a drone in the background accompanied by an assortment of bangs and royalty free screams haphazardly flung around. Any pilot can throw around some bloody cows and eye roll and do some wall texting. I know, there be spookies about, written in blood. Any numpty can leave giant gaps between encounters that fill you more with boredom than tension.